Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Cat Woods. So I'm going to do this crash test over my Holloman pink um, holy Bible here. So this little Bible has been one amazing, um, I would I would say journey, trip, journey, however you want to say that. This is the original Bible garden where theme the Bible garden came from. It was this amazing Bible. This Bible has been shared, has been talked about, has been just a love to show. I mean, when I'm walking around in the store at the doctor's office, everyone says, oh, that is adorable. What is that? And when they first look at it, they think it's a journal. But when I really start opening it up, they are in awe over it. And they're everyone everyone always says I've never seen anyone do that to their Bibles which really gets them intrigued I you know yeah yeah so this this is amazing um, and what's amazing about this Bible you guys it's only a $13 Bible literally and I got it I got it back in October and it's 2017 so this is almost a two-year-old Bible a couple of months being two years old so this is a two-year crash test as we can see the spine here has the normal wear and tear on it you get you know a little scuffs little scratches um, the dirt because of the color of the, the Bible itself it's real dark you I never really had to you know wipe it down like the battlefield of the mind I'm always having to wipe it down I've never, never, never used a wipe on it, nothing. So it's really held up, especially for how much I have blown it up. Um, the spine right here is looking super, super good. There is no pages falling out. It just is an amazing quality. And I purchased it from Walmart. So make sure you check out my playlist. Um, I don't know if I have a playlist over this Bible. Um, if you guys will like that, I could put one together for you. But it's been shared like <laughs> in many of my random playlists that I have on my channel. This has been another Bible that has truly, truly helped me bloom and grow spiritually and when I first got this Bible that was never my intention my intention was never to really um, bloom in it <laughs> as I have it was never just something that I wanted to do it just it sort of just happened the more I was growing more spiritually these are my amazing sisters And this one I was using um, the Pilot, what is it, not Pilot, oh, the Flares, they're the, um, oh, I haven't used them in so long, really, since this Bible, so I really haven't touched them since 2017, the beginning of 18. I am blanking, they're called Flares, and they're from Walmart. Are they Pilot Flares? Oh, but anyways, um, they're in my in my original pin bag, and I know a lot of a lot of my sisters know what pins I'm talking about because I've talked about them and raved about them for years. But that's that's where I came, and that's the ones I use. So like the yellow is still sharp; it's a sharpie highlighter. It's still bright yellow. Two years later, there's no bleed through from the different um, pins. It is really, really holding up, you guys. Papermate flares. There we go. That's what it was. So I've used papermate flares throughout this whole entire Bible with the Sharpie highlighters. Of course, gel highlighters. So just all, all my normal, but the papermate flares are the main number one pin is what I used in here.
And like I said, there is no no pages to where it's bleeding through. For the longest time, I made sure I was able to still read my Bible because this was, I think, only the third Bible that I had in my collection. So I was still using it as a daily reader. But as my collection grew, um, I was okay with covering up more of the words because I had other Bibles to come back to use as my reader. So I know like a lot of people question and they're like, they're kind of worried and asking like, why would you cover up the word of God? But this isn't like my, like my daily driver. And that was another question. Why do you call your Bibles the daily driver? It's just a, a, a name that I've picked up from one of my sweet sisters. She's also here on YouTube. Her name is God Stories. And um, I do believe her name is Beth, Beth or Tammy. I, I'm horrible, horrible with names. But her name is God Stories here on YouTube. And she, she talks about her number one Bible. The Bible that she goes to that she does her daily studies it's her daily driver and I like that so it's totally it's not a name I came up with it's a name I've heard she uses it and others have used it too so I'm just continuing it's a daily driver I've used stamps and the stamps held out or held off I guess you could say there's no bleed through of the ink Now don't ask me the name of the stamps or ink because I don't know. <laughs> it's been a couple of years since I've used it so I don't remember. But do check out my channel and this is um, the gel highlighters. A whole page a couple of years later. What does it look like behind it? Still nothing. No soaking through, no bleed through. Bible just has really, really, really sparked my love for Bibles. And there's just some days, some days I want to be creative and I want, I pull out one of my Bibles like this. And if you know, it's not a journaling Bible. So if you're sitting there with just like a regular Bible in your hand and you're like, oh, I want to be creative. I want to journal, but I need to have a journaling Bible to be um, creative like that. No, 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 no. Do not limit yourself. Do not think that you have to go out and spend $60, $70 on a journaling Bible in order to be creative. Look what I've done with just a regular $13 Bible from Walmart. So it's, it's definitely possible, you guys. Just use whatever you have on hand. Start from here. Like, this is where I tested. This is where I tested out stamps, where I've learned to grow, what my style is. I used this Bible and it turned out just to be the, the most amazing little treasure. This stamp did bleed through, but I went ahead and covered it, colored it on both sides with Prisma color, color pencils. I'm using these pieces of Tippin as inspiration for the page that it's going to be on. Some pages are simple, some are not. But what I was going to say is like I don't always want to be super creative. Sometimes I just really want to just do a deep study. Sorry, you hear trucks and stuff going by. And our seasons where we are spiritually may change. So, and if you are like me and you are really, oh, there's kids coming to the park. So I'm going to really have to speed this up and you've been creative, maybe you want to change it up and go into studying. Okay, you're going to hear some kids. I do apologize about that, but this is a park. <laughs> so if you do have any questions, please make sure to leave them in the comments below. I can't really do a full flip through of this, but I do have quite a few flip throughs of this amazing Bible already. We're already 10 minutes in. I'm not even all the way through the Bible yet. I'm trying to pick out the big pages here. 
so many amazing memories. And something like this is just, it's amazing to go back and just know that your children will have all your notes, will be able to see how you grew. It's just going to be exciting. It's going to be exciting to see. Or know that my kids are going to get this. Like they're watching me. They're watching me work through my Bible every day. Yeah, watch these tip ins like this because they do wrinkle up the page sometimes. So be careful. And if I'm going in and out of bags and stuff, it doesn't really fuck me. But if you are someone that don't like that, keep your tip ins on the inside. <laughs> Kids. This is a picture I drew. Inspiration off Pinterest. Alright, if you do have any questions, oh yeah, make sure to leave the back last page, the tester page. This is where you test out your inks, your pens, and all of that. And then back here, I have my, well, I did have a card in here where I kept my lines straight. Or I could put stickers in here, whatever I'm using, mainly in this Bible, on the go. So it's always a good idea to have like a little pocket like that. But okay, if you have any questions, please make sure to leave them in the comments below. I do love communicating with you all. Remember, be a creative tool in our Father's Art Box today. I love you all, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!